Today, Apple finally released macOS 15 Sequoia Beta 2, and this is my first on hands look at the new update. I was trying to update from the Beta 1, and during the update process, it was actually kind of a hassle because the update wouldn't show up automatically. In order to go around that, I had to automatically disable the beta updates, and then after that, turn back the developer betas, and then that's when macOS 15 developer beta 2 was able to show up. So if you're a person that's already testing betas then this might be something that you need to do in order to go from developer beta 1 to the second beta. As you can see here the update size on my MacBook Pro came in at exactly 3.4 gigs updating from beta 1 and of course this is not all that Apple released there's a number of other updates that were released such as iOS 18 and iPadOS 18 beta 2, we have macOS 15 beta 2, tvOS 18 beta 2, visionOS 2 beta 2, and watchOS 11 beta 2. Most of these updates that you see here, I actually do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if you wanna get to see what's new within the OS and what your devices can do, definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now with that important info out of the way, let's look at the new software changes that are here within macOS 15 beta 2. If we open up system preferences and then go to software update, you see that we are up to date with the latest macOS 15 beta there's something wrong with this update it seems to take a bit longer to bring up this screen but you can see the build number on macOS 15 beta 2 it's 24A5279H so this has an H and coming from beta 1 that had an N that means that this took six steps in the positive directions but that doesn't technically mean that it's more stable than beta 1 because from what we've seen in the past sometimes beta 2 tends to be more buggier than beta 1 so just keep that in mind. Now let's look at some of the new features and changes that are here with macOS 15, the second beta. Automatically, Apple has added the new iPhone mirroring applications in my applications or launchpad. And at the same time, I was able to pin it to the dock. If you had it pinned from my previous macOS 15, the first beta, then the same pinned application will work so you can open it up right here and this is how it's going to look once it's all set up and done it will take the shape you notice how it's shaped like an iphone around but at the same time if you're going to be opening it for the first time you come up to various numbers of pop-up screen i've done a dedicated video explaining how this iphone mirroring feature works alongside ios 18 beta 2 going forward so i'll pin it in the comments or some Somewhere on top of this video but once you all set up and ready to go you notice how it looks so if you try and access or use the iPhone mirroring when your iPhone is in use this is the screen that you will see so it to say iPhone is in use and a pretty cool thing about this is that if you tap outside the iPhone you notice it gets a white background but then if you tap inside it gets this uh, same or matches the wallpaper of the device so if I was to move it here you notice is how it it takes on the color of the wallpaper which is something that's good it's almost as if it's transparent in a way so that's something that's cool I actually didn't highlight that in my initial video of this iPhone mirroring but then once we lock our iPhone like this so our iPhone is locked and now you can see how this changes and I was in Safari so by just using my two fingers to scroll up and down you can see we can control our iPhone if we want to read like the release notes of iPad OS for example we can click on the release notes by using my trackpad on the Mac and I can read the release notes if you hover over the top of this you notice you have the this like grid viewer section if you click there this takes you to your applications or the home screen of your iPhone and right here you can use two fingers to scroll from side to side like this so for example if you want to go into the settings you can go there and see your different subscriptions or some of the things that I was looking at right here at the same time you notice if you are doing multitasking you can tap on this 
multitasking icon and it will open up your various windows that you had opened so for example if i wanted to close this page here on x i can just swipe up with my two fingers and boom it will automatically close it so that's something that's good if i want to type something for example if i go into the address bar and type mkbhd you can see i'm not typing on my iphone i'm typing on my mac keyboard so now i can type use on my iphone when it's locked and i don't have to touch it or do anything so this is the iphone mirroring feature that's here and it's pretty good because you don't actually have to use your iphone or touch it and at the same time when you are using this feature you can see this this iphone is being used from this macbook pro so you will get a pop-up screen just letting you know of that technically you are also able to drag and drop files between your mac and iphone but i haven't been able to get that to work but at the same time notifications now carry over from the iphone to your uh, device so if you go into your system settings and you go to the notifications tab under this section you have allow notifications from iphone and right there you can choose different applications that you want to send notifications from your iphone to your mac when you have this on or if you want to turn off notifications you can do that so that's something that's good and when you get a notification from a specific application you notice like this one has an icon that shows an iphone so this one is showing that it's from the iphone and then this one of course is from the mac because it doesn't carry over from the iphone which is something that's good at the same time if you want to reply a notification or a message and you click on it it will open the corresponding app like for example if i click on amazon prime you notice how it opens amazon prime on my iphone and my iphone is right here it's locked so that's the new iphone mirroring feature in brief when it comes to mac os 15 sequoia beta 2 in system preferences if you go to where it says bluetooth right there you can see that most of the devices instead of just using generic icons or images to depict different devices apple has updated this page and now you can see a distinctions for example between the airpods pro first gen and the airpods pro second gen because these ones have an improved design and you can see that unlike before where it was generic and at the same time if you have the apple magic keyboard with numeric keypad apple has updated this and most of the other even third party like my crusher vevo it's showing a pretty similar image right here when you go to settings and then you go to general you can see that this general tab here has a border around and it's more prominent than how it was before at the same time on your iphone if you go into settings and go to messages under this text messages if you are in the united states then you have an rcs option that you can toggle on but at this point in time since it's in beta it doesn't seem to be fully functional and if you are in another country like canada or worse the eu this is not an option that you will be able to see just like you are seeing right here in my case and it's kind of unfortunate because rcs will allow for higher quality videos and messages for non-apple devices but i'm sure eventually apple will bring this to more countries and regions besides the us if you have dark mode enabled on your iphone on ios 18 i'll be happy to let you know that some form of application dark mode is now being carried over to mac os 15 this is how my applications look now keep in mind that the first applications to get this are going to be the apple applications or the default apps so for example this is how it looks or my apps look in light mode and now if i was to go to my desktop right here go to my control panel and then turn on dark mode you can see my wallpaper goes dark and at the same time if i go to my launch pad you notice how this iphone mirroring application changed before it had a light or daylight wallpaper but now it has changed to this dark wallpaper which is something that's good now most other apple applications aren't doing this so hopefully we get to see that implemented to more apps and bring dark mode and less distractions just go back to the light mode here so that you can see how it looks after so now you can see the iphone mirroring the actual iphone icon is 
now using a lighter wallpaper and even the background looks lighter as well if you have uh, iCloud plus subscription you'll notice that instead of saying subscriber edition now this has been updated to subscriber iCloud which now seems more standardized across the different platforms if you open up Apple music right here you can see that it takes a little while to open but and then at the same time if you're logged in this update seems to log you out and even though I have like a subscription subscription that includes Apple Music and I was signed in it now logs me out and I have to re-authenticate after the update and you can see it's prompting me with a new splash screen to start listening if you're downloading an application from the official Mac App Store and you are installing it on the Mac before this update you had to have twice the storage or the space of the app that you are downloading but now with mac os 15 beta 2 going forward the space that's going to be required doesn't have to be twice all you need to have is the exact storage or space that's going to be occupied by that exact application so you do save a little bit of storage in that way in the launch pad if you go to the other folder right here and you are a person that uses some of the services here they've been updated and one of such application that has been updated updated is this chest game right here when you open it up for the first time you'll be prompted to sign into your game center and at the same time it has a new 3d animated design that has been implemented and you can move it up and down or you know even spin it side to side if you want to look at the opponent or just to see from a different perspective angle now the mac browser that apple claims to be four times faster than chrome safari has also been updated the version is still the same so if you're on mac os 15 sequoia it will be version 18.0 but the build number has now been updated you can see the new build number that we have and before that it used to be 20619.1 dot one five dot one one dot one and you can see how that compares to the new one if you open up facetime and you are using like a third party camera or input then you won't be able to see this setting so you can go and select your video as the input or the default camera of your mac hd now my quality is going to go all the way like down it's expected now you can see here if you go to your background with the previous mac os 15 beta 1 the backgrounds that apple had preloaded right here only had this one and at the same time it's still the same one that's here i don't know why apple hasn't really fixed this but at the same time we do have the possibility of adding three six eight windows that we can add default or other wallpapers and if you click on any of these it doesn't seem to do anything so at this point in time it seems like apple is to be adding those pretty soon or later but then if you are to add your own image right here you can see you can choose one and then you can have it as part of your background and now it looks a bit better but hopefully apple will be able to change up this in the upcoming betas i'm not a big fan of freeform i yet to find use for it but if you open it up for the first time right here you can see you have now the create scene that apple mentioned at wwdc when they presented mac os 14 and there's a splash screen that's telling you about sending a copy and enhanced editing that you can do right there because the new siri update is not yet here and apple intelligence is not yet implemented you can see the icon that we have here is still the old siri and not Thing has changed in that aspect a good thing about this update is that it fixes an issue that had to do with iCloud photo synchronization so if that was affecting you before then that's a thing of the past for me when it comes to this update I'm not having any issues with my airdrop or Wi-Fi connection with the previous beta one files would sometimes stop midway while sending but with this update I haven't yet sent any large files or videos but from the ones that I've been able to send it seems to be working good now when it comes to some of the release notes and some of the fixed or resolved issues this mac os 15 sequoia beta 2 has a lot some have to do with different functions and WebKit, and it does still have some known issues as well so this is a publicly available page if you look up the mac os 15 sequoia beta 2 release notes you'll be able to see some released or resolved issues and some issues that are still existing with this update so at the time i'm recording this video this is just my first on hands look with mac os 15 sequoia beta 2 let me know what you think about this video it is possible that 
you know, in a few days or so, as I continue to test this always, I might be able to find more new features and changes or experience more issues. Then if comes to that maybe i might do another video but yeah let me know what you want to see when it comes to mac os 15 sequoia do you want me to test out the new iphone mirroring or continuity features here whatever the case is just comment it down below and uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace